I've actually been run into and I've actually run into others while I was doing it. They don't see where they're going. They're just looking at what they're texting and I almost run them over once a day. We've all seen it and most of us have done it. A lot of times it can even be funny. I think I ran into a light post one time, but no one saw us, so it was okay. But in a town where more than 40,000 students roam the streets, it can be dangerous. According to Theo Wax Munsky, emergency nurse at Mount Nittany Medical Center, these injuries are more common than we realize. We see a fair amount of pedestrian accidents where they're hit by cars, and a lot of it is due to texting. Texting while walking can be far more dangerous than just bumping into someone on the sidewalk. In fact, while walking down the street texting, you're actually four times more likely to not notice street signs, potholes, and traffic. Texting and driving, and then that increases your risk of an accident by 24.3 times. So, storm, perfect storm, pedestrians texting, drivers texting, neither see each other, ends up lethal. Some cities like Fort Lee, New Jersey, have even gone as far as banning texting while walking. But there are new solutions available. Smartphones now have apps like Text and Walk. It actually makes your smartphone into a camera, so while you're texting, you can see a video of what's in front of you. These apps can help you see, but they don't make you any less distracted. And it's distraction that can be dangerous for everyone. I've been teaching at Penn State for 25 years, and my objective is to finish my and retire without killing an undergraduate student. In State College, I'm Carly Rice with the Center County Report.